Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgan Bob, and so I'm Mike Sorgan, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please sign up over on the site, Sorgatron.com, for the newsletter, for, for the tweets, for all the things that we offer. Yes. Hey, new uh, speculation is new power hour coming up this weekend, so keep an ear out for that as well. I know we haven't been real regular on it, but again, it's our laid back podcast. It's the one we like to do, and and uh, and it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's not a. It's not for anything about us, and we hope you enjoy our conversations too. And that's fine too. That is fine. You know, uh, we're not looking for podcast success with that one. It's fine. So actually, I want to talk about Twitter. Speaking of uh, social media success, I was actually uh, I had somebody come over to my desk the other day. Uh, those don't know, I'm actually in a co-working space uh, over at Work Hard Pittsburgh. And a fellow comes over and uh, asked me about. Uh, well, I guess I, I had uh, just started and was retweeting his uh, his his tweet about a show that I, I had just talked to him earlier. I just uh, checked out for the very first time, and they're like, "How did you how did you do that so fast?" Uh, and I'm like, and I was like, well, I got the tweet deck here. And then we went went down into the rabbit hole. And as I was explaining all the things that I do in 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 order to promote my podcast here, myself uh, and my clients, and realizing the kind of toolbox of tools, and uh, somebody quoted back to me something I said about my my toolbox on my LinkedIn page that I couldn't remember. That was really profound. I wish I remembered it here for this. Um, but you know, kind of how I string certain tasks from around along uh, uh, towards a couple of things. First of all, we've we've talked about uh, very extensively here. Uh, right after Podcamp Pittsburgh, you can look on Sorgatron.com, do a search for Tweet Jukebox, and you'll find a bit more information. But just as a real quick recap, this is the thing for promotion, so I can automate things a little bit. And and, and you have to be very careful with automation, you know, as as we've discussed in the past. But at least like accounts that I don't give much attention to, like here's my Sorgatron Media Company account. I don't live on that thing, right? That's really kind of a promotional tool. It's it's something that connects with the company. It kind of talks about things that we're doing. And sometimes people will will interact with it, and I make sure to interact back. But it's not doing the reach out part. My personal account is the one that's doing the reach out. But again, between that and other accounts, especially for clients where I have a very limited window of uh, being able to work on their social me- social media and schedule things, it takes so much time to just schedule out tweets for the week. But if I have a regular ones that I want to go out, and again, Twitter is kind of a flash in the pan thing. I don't mind repeating tweets on a regular basis because it's going to show up in somebody's stream typically and then float away you know much like a quick ad or something like that i guess and and i think if you if you do it right you can get a lot more um exposure and engagement a uh, one beautiful thing that's been happening i went in and with our Sogotron media account again i'm trying to reaffirm that hey we do these videos we don't just do podcasts and pro wrestling we do this other content if you want to call it content marketing creative marketing uh for other companies over the past few years and we want to kind of build that part of the business back up again and and let people know hey this is what we do and and i tagged some stuff we've done over the years and and i've tagged you know rocky buyer Blyer, a uh, former uh, a Pittsburgh Steeler from back in the Dynasty era, uh, and 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 that gets retweeted every so often to his audience, you know. And I and I uh, tag other things through there, you know, other awesome people and companies that we've worked with. Um, I'm resurfing stuff like the interviews that we've done, the old interviews that we've done on Wrestling Mayhem Show, Indie Mayhem Show, and say, hey, look, we talked to so and so back in the day, and then they retweet that, and again, re-exposing us to those audiences, and that's really cool and really kind of helps grow things a little bit. And and then it's very hands off. You go in there. I actually set up um, for for instance. You know, we had our lunch and learn. I set up some promotion for that, saying, "Hey, you know, this is coming up. Please check it out." And then I don't have to worry about there, and I can worry about other aspects of that promotion. Rather than did I get tweets out, which are something with tweets. You know, I'm not sure how much return on investment I'm getting directly from the tweets because they're so just out there, and the click throughs aren't a lot. You know, uh, so so th- I can reassert my efforts and not leave that lag behind at least, right? Uh, so tweet jukebox is one aspect of it, but then I'm I'm pairing that with my day to day runner. You can say when I'm on Twitter is uh, tweet jukebox. And uh, I, I have a setup, you know, this wonderful column set up here. And, uh, you know, I have a setup with all of my day-to-day things I want to pay attention to. These are usually my internal company uh, kind of 
things. Uh, there's me. There's my my podcasts that are not client podcasts. Uh, I always want to keep an eye on Pits- PodCamp Pittsburgh and see where the conversation's going. I, I always, you know, my company, IndieWrestling.us. And I, I, I try to very specifically keep the keep the clients out of this. Um, just so this is just where I live, and this is more the where I enjoy being because it's around a lot of the subjects that I enjoy tweeting about, looking at, reading, and then in in certain cases, like uh, we're talking about, you know, if if it's Monday Night Raw and I like the live tweet during Monday Night Raw or maybe a pay per view, I have a laptop in front of me and I I, I just scoot over here. I have uh, hashtags, searches for WWE and pro wrestling and a bunch of other things. So I get a general feed of what everybody's talking about. I got the home feed for Mayhem Show, so there's everybody we follow. And then there's retweets going on from um, just just anybody adding at Mayhem Show. We, I see that we have a at reply from uh, Ethan Carter, the turn, current TNA wrestling champ. And also helps me keep an eye out because especially something like that when I see a lot of uh, responses and everything, um, I know that... You know, Mad Mike, he's usually live tweeting all the uh, TNA and, and everything else on a Wednesday night, NXT, Ring of Honor sometimes. And uh, I can see exactly what's what's going on here uh, and, and kind of keep in the know. Or maybe we were talking about the Google or Apple events and I'll pop over to the Awesome Cast stuff here and see what's going on. You know, and, and hey, there's a little bit of organization going on around uh, around the podcast yesterday with Sogatron Media uh, because uh, we had some live tweeting going on from there. And, oh, Chris Bro. Chris Brogan X, amazing. Um, now, why am I using that? And there's scheduling in there too. If you want to do direct scheduling, tweet jukebox again. You do the automated kind of randomization, but but uh, you do have some some scheduling through TweetDeck that you can sit through and uh, and and you know take care of that. If you have some kind of light, I want this to come out. Uh, I want these two tweets to come out uh, during Monday Night Raw to talk about wrestling things that we're doing. You know, something specific like that. Now, the big 500-pound gorilla of this that I don't know. I'm, I'm always, like, kind of on the fence about whether I'm going to keep or or maybe cancel this or, or whatever the case may be is Hootsuite. Um, I actually have so many accounts on here. And the nice thing is, is it's not just Twitter. I mean, I do have Facebook. I do have Facebook groups. I have Google Plus in here as well. So this is my kind of cheater for cross-posting. If nothing else, having this little uh, Hootlet thing that will generate a tweet, post, whatever, from any page I'm on and do the same thing on my um, on my apps and my phone, especially since they had the, 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 the app sharing stuff that popped up in last year's iOS update, just freaking killer. Every time I'm looking through articles, news articles, I'm looking through a tech news article, and I'm like, this is something for AwesomeCast, I can go ahead and send it out. And, uh, and send it out across, across all the platforms. And that just gives me another opportunity to, you know, to, to make sure I'm on top of and, and sharing with a lot of these different, um, um, a lot of my, my different avenues that I'm working with. Or if I see something real quick that works for a client, I can go ahead and pop that out there for them. You know, uh, you know just in my day to day, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, you know, a lot of tools here that make I mean it seems like a lot but but like something like that hootlet and and being able to uh, cross post um, makes it easier for you to integrate the social media into your life where it's an instinct to say that was a good article that should be shared on X you know on for my podcast and some of you out there you know I I, I keep in mind some of you out there you have your personal and maybe you started one for your podcast you have your personal and you have one for work. You know, so you're not going to need the menagerie of things that I'm doing uh, because I have uh, uh, me and I have my company and I have uh, one, two, three clients, uh, maybe a couple more uh, podcast one, podcast two, podcast three, podcast four. You know, you see you see how that gets a little unwieldy. And this is kind of a lot of things that I do to kind of manage it. The big also the big killer is, you know, we said about there's some scheduling and tweet deck. But if you go over to Facebook. I'm sorry, uh, to Hootsuite, um, there's actually a big planner, and I actually haven't been using this as extensively these days. Uh, so this used to look a lot fuller because all those things that I was doing in TweetDeck, I would sit there down there every week or once a month and schedule out the entire thing uh, in, in this calendar. And you do have this calendar view. Now, this is everything, so it includes one of my clients and everything. But uh, if I go in here, boop, 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 and there's everything just for, oh, I don't have anything in there because I randomized it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad example. But if I go to the Facebook for one of my clients, I can go see exactly everything that they had. 
you know, and it can split that out and organize things a little better. So that's a little peek into my insane world of the tools that I'm using to kind of collectively, again, one thing for the scheduling and the quick hits and to be able to kind of compartmentalize my companies there in a tab uh, on, on Hootsuite. And uh, I know, I know, that, uh, try, I hope I was descriptive enough for you guys on audio. You may have to check out the video version of this for a little bit of display. Uh, and TweetDeck, again, is kind of my day runner. Again, visual separating things out from Hootsuite was a basic thing for it. If you only have a few, if you only have a few Twitter uh, things and you're not so concerned with having that quick access to tweet from wherever you are to multiple accounts, then maybe you don't need a Hootsuite or, or something comparable to Hootsuite or a buffer or something like that. And you might be just okay with TweetDeck. I think most of you will just be okay with TweetDeck, to be quite honest. And Tweet Jukebox, kind of, you can do a little bit of randomization and uh, and kind of set up some promotions and, and again, kind of get a little hands-off from it. So let me know what you think. What are you using for Twitter tools? Is this a little too much? Am I freaking insane for using so much stuff? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please sign up for our newsletter at Sorgatron.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.